impersonating the Beatles has come to Hollywood, and it is called Rain. And tonight, KTLA's Lou Parker is live at the Pantages Theater. Gotta say it, with a ticket to ride. Hi, Lou. You know it, and we've been singing all night, Micah and Cher, the show just getting out. The guys who make up this band have actually performed on Broadway, and they've been together longer than the Beatles ever were. And I have to admit, as a reporter, I feel like I sort of step back in time. <laughs> Here comes the sun, a Beatles tune known around the world. And George had this kind of thing where he would just kind of step from side to side and do this thing or the little dance thing that he did. And Performer Joe Bithorn should know he's portrayed Beatle George Harrison for three decades. He was always kind of dancing. We also found Ringo Starr, John Lennon, and maybe the most famous of all. My name is Joey Curatolo, and I play Paul. These four guys make up a tribute to the Beatles show called Rain. It's at the Pantages on stage through the 12th. Is it hard to be George Harrison? You know what? It, it's, it's one of those things that we have so much fun on stage. We're looking at the audience. We're just uh, beside ourselves because we're huge Beatles fans. So Who knew that these guys were only together eight years, technically? Yeah. yeah. Very short career, and yet I think they fit like a 25-year career mm -hmm. into those eight years. Rain fuses historical footage and television clips from the 60s on huge video screens, including the famous Beatles appearance in 1964 on The Ed Sullivan Show, their hair getting extra attention. And actually, right. this is longer than they actually had. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it was just a regular cut. It was just a forehead that mm -hmm. was, the hair was pushed down. So, yeah, it was, uh, parents did not want their children wearing these haircuts. Right, because it was, it sure. was the bad boys, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. So I have to ask, is it real or is it a wig? No, this is, of course, it's a wig. <laughs> I wish I had this kind of hair. <laughs> you know, this <laughs> Okay, you know, I had to ask it. Uh, Mother's Day, this is when it runs through this Sunday. What a great Mother's Day gift, guys. You can give it to your mother. The show's 1 and 6.30. And guess who just drove up behind the van? Two of our producers, Madeline and Kimberly McWatt, with the, her son, Cade. You guys just saw the show. How was it? Was it good? It was amazing. Oh, it's mm -hmm. awesome. It's it really awesome. great. So all generations love the show. You know, I'm going to say a 29-year-old and a 9-year-old. How's that? How's that, Kimberly? All right. So, guys, if you get a chance, uh, check it out. I, I didn't actually get to see it, but meeting Paul McCartney or pseudo-Paul McCartney, pretty cool, right? You can add that to the bucket list, right. too, right? Okay. N nice cameo, True. I, Kim. I'm, like, filling up that bucket list. Yeah, you are right this week. <laughs> Lou, thank you. Still to come here on the news at 10, forget about earthquakes or mudslides where a tornado was spotted in Southern California.